Okay, so I got to show this. This is their Safe and Sound uh, Soundproofing Solutions brochure. And this is like totally misleading. So excellent acoustic barrier that effectively absorbs sound, making it the choice of professional recording studios. That is just like so misleading because it could be the choice that they're using Rockwell Safe and Sound for their acoustic panels, but it doesn't mean that they're using it for blocking sound in the walls necessarily. And that's like really misleading. Um, then they go in here and talk about the fire rating, the STC class of 50 um, right here. Uh, with just one layer of drywall and the rock wool in there. Um, again, SEC 50 is not like that great. And I also think that's a bit, a bit misleading. I doubt that you could get that in the real world. Um, the main thing here, fire resistant, that is great. That's another great aspect of it. Trust me, there are good things about rock wool. I just think there's aspects of it that are very misleading, which is why I wouldn't waste your money on it if it's more expensive. Um, and I also wouldn't waste your money thinking that it's the right solution for you and you don't need anything else because that's what they lead you to think. Um, the other thing, this is acoustical performance. This is absorption as if sound was hitting it directly, not inside a wall cavity. So it works, it functions differently than uh, what you're thinking of. So if we just had this on the wall, it would absorb these frequencies at these different uh, coefficients absorption coefficients which is good like these are great absorption coefficients um for safe and sound at 1.11 down there those are really good um so there's nothing wrong with it as an acoustic panel <laughs> but it's not a good soundproofing uh solution so